Hi, I'm Lorraine from Connolly's Red Mills. Starch is a hot topic and one we get asked lots of questions about. So, what is starch and how does a horse digest it? Does my horse need a low starch feed? And can starch cause harmful conditions such as colic and laminitis? Macronutrients, protein, carbohydrates and fats are the three main suppliers of nutrients in your horse's diet. While the diet will contain all three nutrients, Carbohydrates will be the main supplier of calories in your horse's diet. Carbohydrates can be broken down into two subgroups based on the plant's structure and how it is digested. Structural carbohydrates are fibrous and are mainly digested by good bacteria in the hindgut. Hay is a good source of a structural carbohydrate. Non-structural carbohydrates, also called NSCs, include starches and sugars and are mainly digested by enzymes in the foregut. Oats, barley, wheat and maize are all good sources of starch, often included in a horse's diet. NSCs, including starch, are broken down rapidly into glucose molecules by enzymes in the small intestine. These simple sugars can then be used as blood glucose or immediate energy. They can be stored as glycogen or they can be converted and used as fat stores. When exercising at high intensities, horses will use blood glucose or immediate energy first. When all this blood glucose is used up, the horse will then call on glycogen or stored energy to meet the horse's needs. So, performance horses will require some starch in their diet to fuel exercise, recover and replenish these glycogen stores. So, what's all the fuss about? Some horses are more sensitive to these rapidly digested carbohydrates than others, and too much in the diet can cause unwanted excitability in some horses. Problems can also occur when starch being fed does not get digested in the foregut. This starch makes its way to the cecum and is rapidly fermented. A byproduct of this fermentation is lactic acid, which lowers the hindgut pH, killing off the good bacteria that reside here. The endotoxins released as a result of the death of this good bacteria can contribute to colic and laminitis. High starch diets, when fed incorrectly, can also negatively impact horses prone to gastric ulcers and chronic tying up. Safe and efficient starch digestion in the horse is largely dependent on the cooking of raw materials, the meal size, and the level of starch in the feed. Flaked and cooked grains, such as barley and maize, are easier to digest than uncooked, unprocessed grains. Connolly's Red Mills use advanced cooking technology, such as steam cooking and double pelleting, to help aid starch digestion and minimise the risk of hindgut acidosis. Limiting the size of each meal and the amount of starch in each kilo of feed will help to reduce the risk of undigested starch reaching the hindgut. The guideline for optimal starch digestion is no more than two grams of starch for every kilo of your horse's body weight. So a 500 kilo horse should not have any more than 1000 grams or one kilo of starch in each meal. Starch levels in formulated feeds are typically lower than 40%. So feeding a 500 kilo horse no more than one stub scoop of cubes or one and a half stub scoops of a muesli feed per meal should keep them within the safe limits. A change to a low starch feed may be required if your horse is overly excitable or is prone to conditions such as gastric ulcers, tying up, equine metabolic syndrome or laminitis. 
The Connolly's Red Mills Care Range contains a selection of low starch feeds and balancers in cube and muesli form suitable for all types of horses. All of these feeds are formulated to support optimum digestion for horses which require a specialised diet. If you need more information on any of these feeds, get in touch with an FI nutritionist today. If you found this video useful, please like, comment and share with your friends. For more expert advice, visit our website. Thank you for watching.